My name's Alan Jones. Um, I was teaching for 33 years and I was quite happily to, happy to retire uh, two years ago. And since then I've spent too much of my time fishing. This must have been about um, six or seven years ago I joined the Pool Bay Small Boat Angling Club simply because I was fishing in a very small boat and was looking to, um, to extend what I was doing. And um, yeah, so from, from being a member in a very, very, very small boat, I bought this boat, which is the next size up. This is a 5m20 Orkney, and, um, and it's just small enough to be easily able to man manoeuvre on my own, yet big enough to be able to take somebody else with me in relative comfort and relative safety. So when did you start fishing? Well, as a teenager. Um, I suppose it was, I grew up in South Wales and it was, um, it was a bit of escapism, a bit of um, awakening and an interest in biology, exploring your environment, sort of, fishing allows you to, to get out and do th so many different things. Uh, I just escaped from the home when I was a kid and then I suppose you see things, so many things around you, it makes you open up your sense of wonderment and it sort of feeds on itself. You get more and more interested and then there's the, the food as aspect as well. I mean, I started up catching little trout in mountain streams and then you think, well, what are the trout feeding on and food chains and the biology thing all fits in. So have you always uh, caught fish to eat? Um, yeah, initially, I suppose that's where it started from and then I expanded into other forms of fishing. A bit of sea fishing on the South Wales coast, a bit of... Um, a bit of fishing in the rivers in South Wales. So do you still compete now? Oh, uh, not seriously. Our fishing club that I'm in now, the Pool Bay Small Boat Angling Club, has um, friendly competitions. So there's a couple that, that are financial competitions as well. But I'm not a serious match angler. They take it far too seriously. Yeah. Anybody who wants to win that much can win, as far as I'm concerned. So, what's your fondest memory of fishing? being out in this boat. Um, here it's uh, getting this boat and fishing out on the Crushitch Ledge and catching some really monster bass. I mean my biggest bass is 18 and a half pounds which is I think one of the second or third biggest fish in the country. Amazing. How does fishing make you feel? Everything. Um, fishing is one of those things it, it allows you to do well, not almost anything, but it feeds into whatever level of activity you want to do. So if you want to escape, then wide open spaces. If you want to meditate, then you can just be quiet and peaceful in tranquil surroundings. If you want excitement, then there's big things, exciting things to catch. How did you get into fishing? Um... Possibly, uh, it was a, f a friend of my father's who was a Czechoslovakian, um, and he used to we used to go on sort of family trips on the weekend and things, and he'd always have a fishing rod. And he'd sort of say, "Borrow this, help yourself." And we'd down, down the beach on the Gower. What's your favourite fish to catch? Oh, it must be the bass. Bass are just so. So sporty, so pretty, so beautiful. I mean, it's the, the places you catch them it's, they are really picturesque. Rocky reefs, tidal surges, um, blue water. And uh, you fish for them with light gear, you know, just a, a free-lined a free uh, live bait. And bang, 
and they go screaming off and you've got a real big bending your rod for 10 or 15 minutes and then up comes this beautiful fish which you can either put back or you can put into your cool box for a lovely meal. Well the wind's, the wind's freshening, typical, typical March madness weather, um, occasionally we don't catch anything especially when you want to catch something, it's, um, it's just too cold, too early in the year, too, too long a winter. So we're going to head home for an early bath. Astronaut, so in search of something nice to eat, as an astronaut. 